Origin of Statistics The beginnings of statistics is not what you might be expecting because this is not the first time you will be in a class that is about statistics. You had stat ever since grade 8. And so you might expect that the beginnings of stat or the foundation of stat may have been done by someone who has a big name in the history of math, like big names like Euclid, Archimedes. But the truth of the matter is the origin of stat came from people who are not as noble as Euclid or as the great minds of the past. They are in fact kind of a pretty a pedestrian because the etymology itself of statistics have to do with statesmen, people who are concerned with the affairs of the state. And so these are like government employees. The origin of stat as we do it today can be directly traced to, to the early 18th century before or during the rise of the modern nation-states of Europe. And statistics came from the word statista. He is a statesman. Or in modern uh, language, he or she could be someone who is a government employee, although, although uh, of higher rank. Okay? Because a statesman is not an ordinary government employee. He is concerned with the serious stuff of managing states. And in France, for example, the, the word is statistics. No, it's statistic. It is concerned with information that is useful for states, such as the size of populations, army, the quantity of logistics, ammunition, the sizes of lands, taxes, etc., etc. So this is Europe on the dawn of the rise of modern nation states. And you know, these nations, the modern, the modern uh, nation states of Europe did not coalesce peacefully. You know what they say, kingdoms are forged in fire. They are curved by swords. Before, before the, the rise of modern nation states, what we had there in Europe were, were city-states. Or, or states which are the size of cities. And they were always in rivalry with their neighboring states. And so because they were always in rivalry with their neighboring states, they have to always get updated about the information about the size of the army of their rivals, the quantity of weapons they are producing, and then match match them, if not surpass them, with their own quantities of their own army, artillery, so on and so forth. So there was a huge concern about uh, knowing the, the numerical data about the sizes of army. And it does not stop there. It does not stop there. Because being a statesman, because, because being a statesman, knowing information about the size of your army is just the beginning. Because from there, you would know how many boots must you buy for your army. How many artillery, how many, how many guns and ammunitions. And how much money must you set aside for the payment of the salaries of the soldiers. But it doesn't stop there. If you are a statesman, you would be concerned about where to get the money to pay your soldiers. Where else? But from the people. And so even during uh, these days they were already undertaking what we call today as census. So representatives from the royal highness, the statesmen or the employees of the state, they would go around the villages, around the cities, counting the size of households, gathering information about the quantity of wealth they produce, and then it doesn't stop there. People who are concerned with the affairs of the state must set the taxes those families must pay to the state. And so, as these city-states coalesce to form 
the modern nation state, you can just imagine uh, the sort of things statesmen must pay attention to. And they must always pay attention to issues that have, that have in fact, a quantitative character. These are the concerns of a statesman, of a statista. Information of a quantitative character. You know what they say, you cannot manage something if you cannot measure it. And so a statista, a statesman, would be concerned about measuring the affairs of the state. How many are their citizens? How much is the tax collection? What is the size of their army? So on and so forth. And how much salary must they be paid for the year for their services? How much salary must be paid to government employees? So on and so forth. And so I hope that you can see here that a statesman, a statista is concerned with, is working with massive quantities of data that have a numerical or quantitative character. So, with the passing of years and centuries, statistics came to be associated with collection, tabulation, and organization, and keeping of data. It came to be associated with list of information, usually numerical data about goods, services, prices, and many more. Numerical data that are obtained from observation, survey, experiments, this one, for example, is a data, a set of data, raw data that I got from the Philippine Statistics Office database. This is supposed to inform the public about the amount of money government is spending per student in a state university and college. Okay? You're familiar with the census. If you have not met someone, uh, visit your house to do a census, maybe you have heard of that. So a census is like, it's like the government is sending representatives to many places and they are visiting each of the house. This is really a census. This is not a survey. A survey is like you are just tabulating a sample of a population or a subset of a population, but not with a census. A census, the purpose of a census is to the purpose of a census is to really visit all households in the country. And when they go there, they ask people there, how many people are there in this house? What are their ages? How many are girls? How many are boys? What are the combined incomes of the father and mother? How many are working in this house? What are the appliances uh, in the house? So those sort of things. So the government, I think every five years, they undertake a census. So a census, this is not just a survey. A survey is just, a survey is, is investigating only a subset of a set. But a census is supposed to visit all households in the country. 